Hey there, folks. So this is the, I'm going to call it March because it's March 14th and it arrived. If you want to call it February, fine, call it February. Whatever the color in your sky, whatever the color the sky is in your world, run with that. So for me, this is the March Arcade Block box. Um, Arcade Block has been kind of holding its own, uh, you know, so far as the Nerd Block family of products goes. Um, I'm still waiting on the next sci-fi block. I think I've got one or two left before that subscription runs itself out. Um, but Arcade Block, which I, I grabbed at the exact same time, has been holding its own. You know, there have been some kind of crummier months, uh, you know, but there's never been a month that I'm just, like, ready to execute it. Um, so always kind of looking forward to see what's in these, especially since I have, like, no time, no time, no time for gaming these days. So let's take a look and see, oh my god, okay, um, wow, <laughs> remember when I said they were having a couple off months? So far, uh, Arcade Block, y'all just went balls out tan. Uh, this is, you know, and again, they did for licensing reasons, um, as a matter of fact, I, I still, I'm such a fat, lazy slob, um. I haven't put away the stuff from the last nerd block, so I, I have our super wine stopper from the uh, the last nerd block. To that, at my table, I can now add a Mario inspired super salt and pepper shaker. Uh, I, I'm sorry, nerd block, this is fucking awesome, and I'm, I'm going to drop the f word. And I apologize to any juvenile sensibilities that I may have offended. Or my almost 70-year-old mother, if she tunes in on these. Yes, little Matt said the F word, because this is F word caliber worthy. So we have... We have the pot, that I'm assuming would be the salt. And we have the mushroom, that I'm assuming would be the pepper, uh, just based on the number of holes. Uh, and of course, we have the obligatory eyes on top of it. Um, slam dunk, kids. I, I haven't even gotten anything else into the box, and, and you have already just smoked. This This alone would be worth the $25. But wait, there's more. For example, I have no idea what the branding is, but it is a plastic cup. It is a plastic cup with... Oh, Lord. It is a plastic cup with a straw in it, and... It's blue. So, of course, being blue, it is Sonic the Hedgehog themed. Um, it is a double-walled cup with straw. I, I see a UPC code on it. I suspect that this is something that came off the shelf. But you know what? I, I could forgive this coming off the shelf just because of the sheer awesomeness of the salt and pepper shaker. And trying to remove the UPC code, the label just shredded all over the place. I fail at label removal. So, so far, so good. You know, I, I could I could take the Sonic Cup to my desk and, you know, just drink water. Um, God, so far, yeah, Nerd Block. You guys are, sorry, you know, Nerd Block, technically. Arcade Block brand. You're doing well. Oh, uh, let's see what we have here. It is a treasure chest. I'm looking for, like, a slot on the top. It, it almost looks like something that would be banky, but it's not. Let's open it up and take a look at the inside. Don't tell me I need a key for this, wink, wink. I'm always afraid that I'm going to ruin it. Ah, here we go. So, oh, God. So, okay. On the inside, there is a little gem. Let's see if this is actually attached to something or if it's just kitschy. And... So it looks like it's kitschy. Um, some kind of a little red plastic gem that maybe if I can get this out. Okay, point of embarrassment. I'm afraid of my own strength. I'm afraid if I force something, I'm going to accidentally break it. I'm really not this weak. I just don't want to embarrass myself by destroying a product on one of these unboxing videos. That is the one F up that I haven't made so far. Oh my god. Oh, they glued it. Oh, Jesus. So, they glued it. It's designed to come off, I think. I hope. If not, I did kind of just wreck it. But anyway, um, 
the the little thing itself is kind of cool, kind of kitschy. I could actually this is something I could also see on my desk. Um, if anything else. Like office supplies, uh, I've got a bunch of binder clips that are kind of sitting in a drawer on my desk. Um, possibly use it for like paper clips or something. So, kind of cool desky stuff. Um, I see the obligatory T-shirts, which we'll get to in a second. I see something. Okay, let's take this out. So I, I own it. I, I've talked about this in the past. I think. One of my bad nerd moments is I just never got the Legend of Zelda thing. Um, I, I was never enticed into playing any of the games. Those of you who are old enough to remember... Oh, I see what they did. Um, the the rapping nerds from the original commercial just didn't... I, I, I'm sorry, but, you know, when, when you're constantly having the shit beaten out of you in high school because everybody thinks you're a nerd because you're playing video games... Watching a rapping nerd saying it's the Legend of Zelda and it's really rad. I mean, okay, that right there just killed me. Those creatures from Ganon are really bad. I bad rad. I uh, white boy. I get it. Don't do that. Um, so <sighs> Legend of Zelda. Just I, I never got into the franchise. I don't have that emotional attachment that a lot of Gen X nerds have that carried over to millennial nerds when they saw their older siblings playing the Zelda game. So. I, I own it. I, I don't have the big emotional attachment to the franchise. Um, so we, we have here, they, they are called Hyrule, Map of Hyrule Tea Towels. Now, I have no idea what a tea towel is. If anything, this kind of strikes me like a big giant bandana, but if you know what a tea towel is, if only because I'm probably going to forget to Google this by the time that I'm done, you know, by all means, tell me what the fuck a tea towel is. Um... So, cool from a kitschy standpoint, I, I actually have several people who might be interested in these as a proxy gift or something, but yeah, sadly, Zelda, not, not my franchise, not my thing. Uh, we have oh, a couple more things here. We have the Bit.Trip Collection. Six game collection of award winning award winning bit dot trip series. Uh, if you're reading this, it means you're the proud owner of the bit bit dot trip collection. It includes all six entries in the award winning bit dot trip series: bit trip, bit trip beat, bit trip core, bit trip void, bit trip runner, bit trip fate, bit trip flux. If played in order, these games tell the story of Commander Video, a fascinating individual who insists he is only a man. Is such humanity justified? Eh, blah, 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 blah. So, Arcade Block, you guys are throwing a game in the mix again, man. You're just... goddamn. I, I Again, I have to ask, where is this, like, love and in innovation with Sci-Fi Block, man? Um, so, we've got the t-shirt, and I will put the t-shirt in my lap so I do not forget to look at it, but some of our interior stuff, um, the Sonic the Hedgehog drinking cup uh, is the product of the month. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, the t-shirts. All right. So I just kind of spoiled it for me, but it's just kind of cool. Um, Mushroom and Pipe Shaker is exclusive. Bitrip video game exclusive. Map of Hyrule tea towel set. Uh, let's see what we have here. Map of Hyrule is experienced in Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, uh, but we're still not saying we're, we're still not saying what a tea towel is. For those of you who can't decide whether to use or display this item, we made this easy. Use one and display one. Well, I guess I've got Legend of Zelda bandanas then. Uh, the Hyrule treasure chest. Uh, nothing you nothing like the feeling you get when you find a treasure chest. Um, so I, I guess this is going on my desk. Uh, so next month, um, great exclusives from. Oh, the other thing was so the only thing that isn't marked as exclusive was actually the Sonic Cup. So again, one, two, three, four, five exclusive items. Well, at least four. The shirt, you know, shirt punch. Who knows if it's going to show up on the site one day or not? But anyway, so far, you know, again, arcade block, really, really well done. Um, you know, stuff that I can't get anywhere else. That is why I keep subscribing. Uh, next month, they're telling us we're going to get stuff from Mega Man. Again, played it back, you know, in the 90s, but no huge 
no huge emotional attachment. Resident Evil, absolutely no emotional attachment. When the fuck are zombies going to stop being the thing? Seriously, I am over-zombied out. Between The Walking Dead and the fucking Republican presidential race, I am done with zombies. If I see one more Trump hillbilly, I'm going to fucking get a gun and just start aiming for the skulls and putting them down. Um, also including exclusives. Okay, exclusive is good uh, for fans of Pokemon and Just Cause 3. So... Don't have a high bar of expectations set for next month, but, you know, who knows? They might get some stuff to surprise me. Uh, now, the T-shirt, like I said, I saw uh, the T-shirt is called Evolutions, and I, I have to say, the, the, the random number gods were on my side with this. Um, in, in the original Pokemon, I, I was like the blue. Uh, you know, just me being morbidly obese... As soon as I saw Blastoise, I'm like, I, I am in love. You are my spirit animal. Um, the fact that I saw someone did a meme, I, and you guys will probably angrily tell me where it's from because I'm, I'm ignorant of this shit. Um, it, it was someone's take on all of the Pokemon's name, and the, the, the name for Blastoise was Water Bowser, and that's, that's what I've called him ever since. Uh, when I get around to getting either the red or the blue remake, um, I will definitely go blue. And I will definitely try to see if I can fit Water Bowser into the um, into the character name. So this is an exceptionally cool shirt. Um, you know, uh, the Squirtle Evolutions. Um, so gotta say, love the shirt. It's a three X, and it'll be really baggy on me because the kids at Nerd Block won't size my goddamn shirt down to a two X. So, but I'm not angry about that. Um, so all in all. Exceptional block, uh, uh, exceptional block, exceptional box. Um, well done. I, I, I'd, I'd love to see this kind of love and attention and curation go into um, into sci-fi block. But as my last block or two of that collection comes to me, I don't have the highest expectation. So we had the T-shirt, we had the tea towels, uh, we have the Sonic the Hedgehog drinking cup, we have the. Legend of Zelda treasure chest with the fake jewel inside, and I can't get this damn thing open now. There we go, with the fake jewel inside. And then finally, the first was the best, oh yeah, the 8-bit eight, eight trip collection. And then finally, the first pull was the best pull. We have the super salt and pepper shakers. So, there we go, folks. Uh, I will see everybody, like I said, I think Sci-Fi Block is going to be the next one that ends up arriving. Um, when it does, I will unbox. I will probably be disappointed. Who knows? Uh, you can share in my disappointment and proxy schadenfreude. Other than that, uh, we will see everybody for the usual uh, Nerd Block Loot Crate head unboxing. Take care.